Oh, g'day, guys, and welcome back to Gatekeepers' coverage of the 2023 New South Wales Open presented by MVP Disc Sports. We're back at the Armoury Disc Golf Course in Sydney, Australia. This footage is brought to you by Rad Gatekeeper Media and Parked Media. This commentary is also brought to you by The Flying Disc Door. I am Paddy Robinson, and with me, I've got Fergie Ferguson and Tim Bowen. Together, we are the Tee Off Podcast. Boys, it's been a pretty tough front nine in this round two. Absolutely filthy disc golf so far. Austin at three over, Leith plus two, Rigby plus five. His putting woes were throughout that front nine. And uh, Chile plus one. Fergie, hole ten, what are we looking at? It's a par three. It's 91 metres. This one definitely favours the forehand where you can punch it over the out of bounds where you can co- kind of throw something straight at it with a nice elevated basket on a the hill there. And Austin's going that side up. I do believe nice and elevated basket is an oxymoron, Fergie, just so you know. <laughs> and I'm a moron, so there you go. <laughs> this is a really uh, fun risk-reward hole. Uh, I like to see that these guys are taking that line. Oh, that's Fantastic oh, wow. shot from Leith. That's unreal. Oh, those lats coming into play right there. Oh, this looks a bit high from Chile. Yeah, it's going to be those are bailing out to the right. Yeah, it's safe, but uh, I reckon he'll, especially with an elevated basket that we are seeing yet again, I think he'll just be uh, laying up and taking a three. I'm loving Adam's just whip of that sidearm. Kind of just great technique. I love it. I think the boys are starting to learn, and Adam as well, that uh, this sort of winch, you just need to crank something out over stable as yep. maximum beef in this sort of breeze. Here we go, Austin with a super nervy putt at the elevated basket. You can see he's dealing with a crosswind and OB just behind. Mate. Oh, Oh, no. no. Adios, muchacho. Far out. Goodness me. So he does have the option to re-throw, which is what he's opted for here. He's going to have a second crack at the same putt. That's smart, I reckon. Beautiful putt for the bogey. (laughs) That that is an excellent bogey save. Oh, fantastic. Excellent bogey save. Look at Leith. He's two metres. (laughs) <laughs> oh, and he has to put all sorts of angle on his putt just to make sure it catches. <laughs> oh, goodness, I mean, like, it's been such a tough round for the boys already. I'm so glad to see a couple of smiles out there. I mean, yes, he did just get a birdie, but... It's all he can do sometimes is just smile. Yeah. Chile right. in for the par. Hole 11 is a par 4, 148 metre. Pretty tricky one to get, boys. You want to make sure you position yourself nicely near this mando that you have to go right of. So you've got a nice approach. This one, look at that generous OB. It's way outside the edge of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 11 metres outside oh. the circle. <laughs> Leith here with a pretty fierce tailwind behind him. This looks look at that thing go. Gone a little too long? far and he's gone OB long, which is not the mistake he should be making on this hole. I think he thought the crosswind was going to pull it down and left a lot quicker than it did. These guys are just struggling to, I guess, compensate for this wind after the first round. They're probably throwing similar discs to what they were, and they're just not working. Chili's thrown the caster pass stall there, and looks like he's gone a little long, but... It's it's stalled out into a bush. That's going to be a fun second shot. Oh, this is going high for Rigby, super aggressive. Putting it up into the crosswind with Heiser, hoping to go way past the Mando. It looks like he's caught some foliage and trickled down right to where a normal shot would have landed anyway. (laughs) Here's Austin. Austin. Oh, he clipped a little bit of foliage, did he? Or settle, no, he's settle, settle, settle. Oh, and he's, oh, yeah. he's hit the uh, electric box. Hopefully that's not in his line for the second shot. No, it looks like it's affecting his run up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that did look a little awkward. He's had to just think of that one out. I think a forehand might have been a better option there. But a very good yeah. attempt. And oh. look, he's got a nice little three-metre putt for the birdie. Uh, we... Looking at some yeah. nice just Australian fauna there. <laughs> oh, a disc oh. just shot out of it. <laughs> Apparently there was a disc golfer in there. So oh. Leith, probably angry at Chile that Chile oh, no. was in bounds oh, and Leith was OB. What happened to that? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That is... I don't even know what happened. But somehow he's found OB again. So Leith looking at a huge number on this hole. I mean, this is a 100, 148 metre par four. But this wind is making it play like 250 metres. That Adam was calling for the ace out of his hand. Got a very nice upshot. <laughs> Have a nice. look for the birdie. Hopefully get some green on Adam's card. He needs it. Oh, this one's come up a little short for Chile. It's going to be a scary par putt. Yeah. So Leith, with two penalties and a throw off the box. This is his, I believe, sixth shot. Oh, he's found that. Sh- no. Left it pretty short, so... 
Yeah. He's laid up. I'm, what is he looking at? An eight here? Like, I need a calculator to work out the elite score on this hole. Yeah. Beautiful oh. control from Chile. Jeez, Matt, I reckon that's a bit of that ult ultimate background to be able to just float the disc, put a lot of spin on it, and get it in there. Austin. Oof. Austin. The pole didn't want it in there, but the basket did. Great, that, re great recovery from a bogey on hole 10 for yeah, Austin. Huge birdie. Here's Rigby. He's on. Oof. There's there a birdie for the man. Get some green on your card, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, have yeah. a wave, son. And Lee, it is a triple bogey, so putting in the seven, unfortunately, for Lee. Hole 12, Fergie. Hole 12, par 3, 116 metres. We've got OB left, right, and around the basket. You're just kind of popping over that path, and you've got a basket which is protected by some trees. Uh, this is one you definitely want to get. I feel like I say that every time, but you really need this one. Is this cut rollering? Uh, oh, it's it's checked up. It's, it's safe, done. but yeah. yeah, not what he was after there. Austin, too much oh, turn. Hates it. I think he was throwing his FD3 there as well, and you can just see what the wind did to it. Turned yeah. it straight over, and he saved by that tree, luckily enough. So no harm done on Austin's drive. Chili. Trying to keep this one low. This is fading out. Into a perfect position. Yeah, He's got to look at bird. Just Lovely. outside circle, so he'll have an outside chance at a birdie here, but you need to be basically be in the bullseye to get a putt on this into these winds. Yeah. Leith really ramping up as round two carries on. He's trying to make amends in this hole, but unfortunately he's put that out the behind. Copped the tree and he's fallen short. He's looking to put this one around the back of the trees and have used the wind to come back in, but oof, no. I feel like it, we're about to see a cow fly past <laughs> with this wind or something. That's ridiculous. Adam so, praying for it to get down and he's stretched himself outside circle, which is not what you like for the par save. Oof. Austin floating it up, and yeah, very nice approach. Starting to use the wind to his advantage on the upshots. Oh. Chilly. Straight had headwind. Look, had a look for the birdie. <laughs> now he's got a similar look for the par. Oh no, Adam. Very aggressive for the par save there, and now he's got a lot of work to do for the bogey. I mean, I don't mind an aggressive putt, but uh, it, yeah, this is just really not the day for it. Yeah, there we go. Comebacker. Fantastic comebacker. Really makes a difference having the wind behind you when it's upwards of, you know, 40, 50k gusts. Mm. He's hit some uh, fantastic bogey parts, I've got to say. Yeah, they've been all for bogey, unfortunately, for Adam. Yep. Good par from Austin. Pars may get it done in this round. As we see Leith tapping in another bogey. Hole 13, par 4, 157 metres. This is the triple island hole. Essentially, you're, you're teeing off from the first island into a second island and then approaching the third island in this uh, little grouping of trees. Island the, hopping. The, Hopefully, they all brought a boat. The fifth one's Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like I'm playing Sea of Thieves here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looks like Austin is... Managed to navigate the inbounds. <laughs> he knows he got away with one there. It wasn't what he was going for. Here's Chili with the stall once again, and the hat falls off oh, yep. as he's throwing. Let's see if it affected the shot. Oh, it may have. Turning, and yeah, no, it looks no. like it's stalling out nicely. Lovely. It is yep. a stall. <laughs> is there? Was that a basket? Half a basket with a cone on it? <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> Very Adam skinny here. from Rigby. Looks like he's hit very early trees. Hasn't even made it off the first island, so that's going to be way out of position. Don't really think he can attack the green from that spot. Oh. Leaf here keeping this one nice and low. Maybe too low. Some foliage yeah. there, maybe, but too low. Looks like it crossed and is safe, but definitely got away with one there. All right, now Adam's just playing for par, surely. Yeah, all he can do is punch a hyzer out there, land on the second island, and have an open look for the up and down to save his par. I mean, this is a 
scary approach to the basket. Oh, that it's, looks like it's leaked. It's really steep there as you go oh. up from that road. We didn't uh, we didn't see your OB. Uh, yeah, Clark hopefully there. Chili's checked up with a bit of his disc inbounds there, but that was looking OB from what we saw. Austin oh. just second guessing himself here, maybe, or just saying, "Come on, wind, give us a chance, mate. Just give us a break." Well, I like the angle. This is coming in hot. And he's made the Ooh. island. So he'll have a look for the is birdie, there? which is all you can ask for in this sort of wind. Jeez. Treacherous green. And that road is OB. All the pressure on Adam. He's already had two shots. This is up and down. He's much required for oh, the par. Oh, kept it straight. Look at that. I feel like I want to say, boys, three are overstable discs, but I reckon they probably are. Yeah, they, <laughs> is that much wind? They need to throw my overstable disc. They can get it done. <laughs> Here's the lead. That's looking like a really nice shape. Yeah. There's uh, Ash Weedner on catch cam just dancing a little. Safety first with his helmet. I love Ooh, oh, no. Adam. Oh, no. Adam just unfortunately putting that one into oh, a tree, no. as does Chili. Boys, what are we watching here? This is the <laughs> dirtiest round that I've seen in a long time from oh, the uh, no. Aussie it's MPO <laughs> boys. <laughs> it's hard to watch. Uh, Plopping trees, finding OBs. Definitely give this video a like if you agree with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have 45,000 likes. If you, yeah, if awesome. anyone's watching this thinking, oh, geez, that's shocking. This is like watching Ooh. me on a weekend. <laughs> like, we've all been here. We've all been here. That this was is a me great, after 15 cans. <laughs> that was a great bid from Austin for the birdie. Yes. Oh. Years lead. Tapping in a Good par part. after a couple of mistakes. Austin in for the par. And what's this going to be for these boys, unfortunately? Just yeah, a bogey for Chile. Bogey. I think it That's might right. be a double for Adam. Mm. I think the only, the only respite is no wind in the trees. As we move on to hole 14, par 3, 116 metres. This is the hole that got Austin in day one. So hopefully he's learned from his mistakes. The wind's going to be a little different, I can tell you that. All you need to do is throw your preferred shot, forehand, backhand, and it'll land it close. Not much to this hole. Except the distance. Looks like he's opted for the par play. Yeah. Fair, like, really smart. Really smart play. Like all the holes, there's OB a little bit inside circle one, so... Ugh. OB. Austin, with the luxury of a lead, did need to be aggressive. Leith needs to break down that lead, so he's gone for it and unfortunately found that right side OB. Chili's throwing something a little too skinny, but it's checking up nicely. Yeah. Ground's stalling his disc out very nicely. Adam's had one of those rounds where he can just say, F it, I'm going for everything. <laughs> and uh, he's left that a little short, but he'll have a circle two bid. And, you know, when you're seven over, I'm sure he'll give it a fresh run. Ooh, Austin. Come on, come on, get come down. on sit. Ooh, a little Jeez. too Ooh, juice. It's going to be close. He's, he's safe. <laughs> yeah, he's safe. <laughs> way too high out of his hand, but he's very lucky that's checked up just short of the OB line. I'm asking for that one to get down, and it does. Pretty risky throw as well with a, a left to right wind throwing a forehand. I would opt for the backhand here, and it slams down exactly what Chili's done. Yep. You do not want to let the uh, wind catch the underside of your disc because it is whipping away. Leaf here throwing his third, and he's probably... No, uh, I don't think he's too short. Oh, maybe. He's a little short. I think at this stage you really need to start thinking about what side the basket has oh. the tailwind because that's where you want to be putting from in Austin. Yeah. Nothing worse when you lay up and yeah. then you end up taking a bogey. Still anyway. take a bogey, yeah. He'll want that upshot back, I think. He was pretty close and he left it. Left himself with a bit of work to do. Chili in for the par. He'll gain a stroke. As well, will Adam. You know, he... Uh, Leith is the closest to Austin at the moment. He hasn't lost a stroke to him this time around. But yeah, he will be disappointed with that. Hole 15, par 3. It's a 170 metre throw. You're kind of bending one around the OB that's on your left hand side. And you've got OB that wraps around the right. It kind of pinches down towards this elevated basket. And we've got Chili with his stall. What can he do? He can grunt. He puts maximum grunt on it. He's asking for it to fade. It looks like a really nice angle out of his hand. Oh, beautiful shot. Apart from giving himself a hernia in that throw, <laughs> um, absolutely magic. I imagine Rigby's throwing his Nuke OS or his Raptor here. Does like his Discraft. Bit short, but it looks like a good line. Nice and safe at least. Austin, he'll want to get one back after the last hole. This looks good. Yeah, I like the shape. There's really no OB on the right-hand side here, so you can hang it out as wide as you like. Lovely from Austin. Fantastic control. 
Leith putting a hyzer out there. Looks a little skinny out of his hand. Hopefully it checks up before the OB reads, and it certainly has. Yeah, but not still a really, bit short. Not really in the birdie play there. So all, he's, all he can do is lay up. He's found the headwind side of the basket, unfortunately. Again, par, par does not worry me on this course in, this, in these conditions. Yeah, we can see Adam with his plus seven so far. He's still in third oh. place in a tie for third place, although he's just lost a stroke to Chile, as I say that. So yeah, he'll, huge move, up. he'll move up to tie for second. Oh, that Austin. one rose up on him. Jeez. Oh, no. oh, Austin's not going to be happy with that one. Yeah, these elevated baskets mean you have to put the disc nose up, and mm-hmm. when you're on the headwind side, it's just almost impossible to can the birdie. I like the adjustment from Chile, how he actually had a little bit of that angle on his putt coming in, navigating that uh, wind a little bit better. Oz Discs, powering Team Heiser Flight. Next up, hole 16, par 4. I seem to get all the, the triple island holes, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised. that They must have had a sponsor of flags, but uh, we've got island 1, island 2, island 3. Uh, par 4, 137 metres. Let's see what these boys do. <laughs> Chili is looking for island 2. I like the weight of that. Yep. Hopefully that's checked up inbounds. All right, Adam. With the Buzz OS just... Keeping it straight, hoping it gets down at the right time, and he's yoinked it. Straight Found into some the tree. trees. I don't think uh, that's crossed. He uh, didn't miss the mando because uh, he hit it, and it checked up in the middle. So very lucky. He's even got a distance to get to the pin if he wants to be super aggressive. Do you reckon Austin's Austin, going Austin. for this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks like he is. I think he was not. He's found a lot of par fair. Got a lot of turn. Uh, Miles OB. Far out. I mean, I guess it's 50 50. It's either going to be inbounds or not. Leith here. Nice low control down. shot by yeah. Leith. Yep, that's all you need to do. Something low, overstable, get it down on the island two. So I think if you uh, miss one of these island, you go to the drop zone. Like each one has a drop zone. It looks a little high here from Austin, but that one's stalling out for him. Oh, Ooh. almost hitting the chains, which he would have loved. <laughs> you can see right now he's questioning his life oh. because... Holes like this, boys, an absolute nightmare. Oh, uh, yeah. This one's sawed off from Adam and that did not left. make the island. No. no. All right. Chili's going to hang one out to the right. Oh, this yeah. looks oh, good. Needs to get down. Not right enough, I don't think. Looks like it's caught some inbounds. Mate, a tailwind putt would be nice for him. How stoked would you be having a berg in the bag <laughs> in conditions like this? So Adam's gone to the drop zone. It's actually not a bad angle with the wind to give it just a half bit, but really if he's going to take his medicine, he'll put it under the pole. Saying a quiet prayer before he parts. <laughs> he's putting he's himself a headwind, headwind yeah. part. Need to be on that tailwind side, Adam. Isn't he listening to me? Jeez, I thought uh, Chile was a little bit close than that. Far awesome. out. Unfortunately, that ace run has gone a little bit past the basket. And oh, oh. It's a good flag. Yeah, very good flag. Look at that thing. Whip it. There's just no protection on this hole. So having a triple island OB. Oh, insane hole like this. Just trying to stab it in there, but too low. The buffeting wins. Oh, boy. Oh, well done. Rigby in for the bogey. You almost take that after that drive. Oh, very right. So I don't know how that actually caught that. Managed to find the bottom of the tray. As we yep. see Chile tap his par, good par. get a stroke. Yep. Leith in for the par as well. As we move on to hole 17, this is a big one. Par 5, 248 metres. The main thing you've got to contend with here are three defined mandos. First one you need to pass right off, the next two you need to pass left off. And then we're carrying a little bit of OB with, as you guessed it, OB all around circle one, boys. Boys, we, no, we've stepped up. We've gone, uh, there's... Three islands, but now there's three mandos. <laughs> there we go. 
And if you Evening look closely, out. Paddy, there's actually three islands as well. But <laughs> it's only because they have to cross a couple of metres of OB right off the tee here. Chile with a nice low hyzer fading just before the Mando. Nicely done. That's a perfect Lovely. tee shot. If you can find that barren patch of dirt there that Chile's found, you, you know you're doing well. I this reckon nice from Leith. What have we got uh, wind-wise here? Left to right, do you think? Hard to tell, I but... Uh, hey, Paddy, it's a tornado, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no idea what's going on. It does look left to right, maybe even a little taily, so... Okay. Not the most difficult tee shot. I think the issue would be yanking it and missing that first Mando to the right. Austin might put something... Oh, Ooh, he's putting a roller a down. Roller. And in he's this had wind, enough. I just don't know. Yeah. He's thinking about how many beers can I drink tonight? <laughs> mate, He's landed in the middle of the barracks here. Not OB, though, so he's got a forehand around the Mandos here. That's actually a fairly good recovery shot. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe he threw a roller in wind like that. So the second shot really requires a forehand to get around the next two Mandos. I think putting down a backhand turnover in this sort of wind is just ill-advised. So yeah. Rigby's got a pretty decent forehand. He's whipping something beefy. I really like the angle of this one. Mm. Yeah, great yeah, shot. Spot. He's in the birdie zone. I mean, boys, what what do you reckon the old mental state is at, at this sort of point in a round like this with this kind of wind? I well, feel I think, like it's it's going to be a bit rough. I think combination of the wind, and we haven't even mentioned it yet, the temperature was skyrocketing as well. Okay. It got up to 36, 37 degrees Celsius. Oh, so, so it's a hot wind. Very, very hot day. Oh. I yeah. think um, exhaustion, energy levels, and as you said, mental game, really all coming into play here. Yeah. Well, good on these fellas for sticking it out. It's uh, It's been, I mean, there's still one hole to go, but it's it's brutal. It's been hard to watch. I can't imagine yep. how hard it was to play. As Leith going for the highs are, Adam says, thank you very much. I like that line as well. I like this, this distance, good. though. Ooh, oh, it's a hedge. It's gone a little no, long. No. And unfortunately, it skipped up over the little uh, placard around that uh, that sort of garden bed there. And unfortunately, he's racking up a penalty stroke. But he'll have a short comeback for the par. Chili does nicely to put that one in the circle. Austin. Austin. Oh, love this. Come on. How has he got the Anheuser putt working from that distance? That's very impressive in the wind. So, Adam, with the penalty, will be putting for the par here. And Oof. great. Great putt. Great one. Huge par save. Finally, a good putt for a par. <laughs> That's it. Would have been for Birdie. No. no. Chili wanted that one. I think that, that was for Birdie, wasn't it? Gotta love Chili. Still smiling. Oh! Dirty. With all that wind pushing it into the tray, too, you'd like to see that one stick from Leaf. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, oh, no. Into the bed, and just like that, Chili. He's still smiling. <laughs> still smiling. Still smiling. Even a three part can't bring him down. <laughs> Tapping in the bogey. I uh, don't think Austin's smiling. After the hot round yesterday, he's tapping in a bogey, moving him to six over. Yeah, All of a wow. sudden, he's even through two rounds. As we move on to the very last hole, hole 18. What have we got, Fergs? Yeah, look, it's 62 metres, and you have to navigate yourself a nice triple mando. So pretty short hole, uh, but you're scooting this one over the parking lot. And that one's got through from Leith. Yes. Just Woo. pressed it through. Just what the doctor ordered. A little bit more OB to finish the round. And oh, Adam. Well, that one's safe. Just. That that disc will never fly the same again. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. This one's got a... Yeah, no, that's broken the Mando oof. plane. And he'll have to go to the drop zone. All right, Austin, put it in. Ooh, oh, I love it. Good bid. Drop. See, there's OB behind the basket. Oh, no. Oh. Gone OB long. Oh, Austin. <laughs> Jeez. Where's the six pack? I would, I'm, I'd be scared if I was Kyle Herbertson uh, on the camera there. If I was going to get a smashed lens. <laughs> All settled. Yep. Drop yeah. down. He'll have a tailwind putt for the par. Oh. Off of the bogey, I mean. And as we see, Austin with the comeback. More gusts. More gusts. Oh, oh, and that was good out of his hand. I liked the height. It just got lifted. Full on. Chili in for the bogey. He finishes off with a three and over round, moving and to a plus fist four. Pump. <laughs> I love it. Good on you, Chili. The happiest yeah, bloke takes in this golf. After laying up, and Austin very quick there to take his bow. Yeah, Austin with a seven over round. Oof. Not ideal. And Lee that was with tough that par, guys. he's only one back from Austin now in second place. All right. 
Well, uh, I'd expect there'd be a few tears in the shower tonight. And uh, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like going home and having a shower myself. Uh, oh, that, that, was, that was very dirty. Yeah. Tough to watch. Austin with a plus one overall of that seven over round. Leith plus two. Rigby plus four. And Chile also plus four. Here we have the full leaderboard. Not a lot of movement. All the cards were hit with that buffeting wind. Reese with a plus two round. Very solid. Jade Brady plus four. Oliver Mundycastle plus nine. And Dwayne also rounding out the top eight. It's pretty solid from Reese there with a plus two. Absolutely. Done well there. Yep, the That's local it. loves this course. Doesn't oh. love the wind, but did very well, Reese. All right, please come back and join us for round three and hopefully some better conditions and we can see some, uh, some better scores. But uh, yeah, thanks, Gatekeeper.